In this video, we're going to talk about Low Sand Kiln. Low Sand Kiln is the easiest and quickest way to build a custom experience on top of your IoT applications. We allow you to publish dashboards, custom web pages, and even custom API endpoints to your end users. By being directly integrated into the LoSan platform, your IoT engineers are more efficient, and you won't have to worry about the overhead of hosting these solutions somewhere else. You can do this all within LoSan. LoSan Kiln is an extremely flexible and powerful tool. So, what can you really build with LoSan Kiln? Let's look at some examples. Imagine if you had an industrial plant with equipment being monitored and reporting data to Losan. With Kiln, you'll be able to provide the plant floor manager a view of the equipment outputs and dashboards to ensure the plant floor stays up and running. On the other hand, if you track assets all around the world with Losan, you'll be able to securely expose shipment location and delivery confirmation to your suppliers and vendors with a custom UI and dashboard. These are just a few examples of the types of applications you can build on top of Losan. Best of all, all of this is managed and scaled within Losan itself. For this walkthrough, I'm going to create an application called Acme. Once created, we can access all the Losan kiln features through the Experience tab. By default, you'll get a custom on Losan domain slug. This domain slug provides a unique URL for your application. For now, I'll just name mine, my app. To best demonstrate experiences, Losan automatically creates a small application for you. This example application includes custom views, endpoints, users, workflows, groups, and authentication. Now, let's take a look at what was created. Make sure you save this password. We're going to need this later. What you are looking at is the output of the example application you just generated. This is the login page of the application. As you can see with experiences, you can have your own logo and branding to really tailor your user experience. Along with this interface, Losan also generated an example user. The password for this user is the one you just saved. If we input the credentials, we can log in as that example user. Once logged in, we can go to the user's home page. And with little configuration, we can custom tailor this page to this user. This page can be a dashboard or display any other bits of information you would like to give to that user. You are in full control. Remember, all of this was generated at one click of a button and is maintained and hosted within Losan. Let's go back to the platform and dive deeper into how this experience was created. The first thing I should point out and kind of the starting point of experiences are the endpoints and a couple have been created for you. These endpoints can return a visual UI like you saw before or even serve as an API and return data. For example, if we look at the index route of the application, we can see how it was created. Each experience API endpoint has its very own access control and is powered by a LoSant workflow. When this workflow is triggered, it determines what actions take place during the request and how the request will reply. Every workflow that powers an endpoint will begin with an endpoint trigger and end with an endpoint reply. The workflow can then define the action of the endpoint. For this index page, we can check if the user is logged in. If they are, render their custom home page. If not, direct them to the login page. All this logic can be kept within a workflow. Next, we can take a look at exactly where these pages come from. For each page, we choose a layout. For our example app, we only have one. Your page layout is the basic template for your page. It describes the elements on the page that will be common across all pages, like a header and a footer. In the specific page settings, we can define the page content. Here is where we can see the HTML that renders on this user's home page. Editing here is quick and easy.
So, in about 5 minutes, we've created the beginnings of an application you can publish to your users. And now that you guys have a basic understanding of Low Sank Kiln, let's talk about what's next. When you build something cool with Low Sank Kiln, tell us what you're doing and post it in the forums. We'd love to support you in any way that we can. Check out our Low Sank Kiln documentation to see a full example of an end to end mobile application using Kiln. I'm excited to see what powerful applications you guys create. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.